Despite the calendar showing late November, things are heating up in Los Angeles this week. That's especially true with the chatter that the Los Angeles Chargers are sprinting in the wrong direction at alarming rate. Sunday's trip to Green Bay produced another loss, this one a 23-20 verdict, that puts the Chargers in an unenviable place. Their 4-6 mark is better than just two AFC teams. Coach Brandon Staley was full of poise and promise when the season started, confident that his third squad during his first role as a head coach at any level would aim for the Kansas City Chiefs and the AFC West title. But after Sunday's meltdown, the embattled Staley was filled to the brim with a cantankerous attitude in which and verbally wrestled with reporters and shrugged his shoulders about speaking to the Chargers faithful. I'm not here to talk for the fan base, an agitated Staley said when briefing the media. I'm here to talk to my players, the locker room. But the reporters were here to talk to Staley as he bristled about inquiries of his past defense which has been ranked dead last since, seemingly, the bolts broke training camp. Staley's charges were out of position at key junctures, again, and once again Staley went stubborn when asked if he will continue calling the defensive plays. You can stop asking that question, a Kurt Staley said. I'm going to be calling the defenses, okay? So we're clear, so you don't have to ask that again. Staley seems to have a full plate as it is and now he wants to tell the reporters how to do their jobs. That's not quite how it works in the NFL, and especially in LA, where underperforming coaches consistently have their feet put to the fire. Hello, USC's Lincoln Riley and UCLA's Chip Kelly. But with a defense unable to slow passing games with any regularity, LA continues to play just well enough to lose. They earned a hat trick on Sunday with three, two game losing streaks, and Staley's poise has melted away with each loss. You guys act like we've never played good defense, Staley said. You act like we haven't made any improvements. One would hope that would be the case as his defensive scheme enters its third year under Staley, furnished with top shelf players making big time money. The Chargers have invested time and again in a unit to complement their wonderful quarterback Justin Herbert, and there have been some bright spots. But those green shoots are eclipsed by the reality that the defense just isn't very good. And it figures to be minus Pro Bowl linebacker Joey Bosa after he suffered what appeared to be a significant foot injury on Sunday. Packers quarterback Jordan Love had his first 300-yard passing game going for a career-high 322 and heaving two touchdowns. The second one, to Romeo Dobbs with 233 to go, was a microcosm of a Chargers season gone bad. When the Packers employed a no-huddle on offense on the petulant drive, the Chargers went into reverse.